I'm Ms. Losanko, and this year our G-Team project is on a book that we read called Hatchet. Students were given several choices on how they were able to use their higher level thinking to showcase their knowledge of this book. We have worked very hard on completing them, so here they are. Info about the author. The name of the 
author is Gary Polson. He was born May 17, 1939. Gary has been in the Alaskan dog race. He knew he wanted to be an author when his librarian gave him his own library card. And the summary. In the beginning of the story, Brian lived in New York. He went camping with his friends, but one time he was riding his bike near the mall with his friends. And he witnessed the secret. He found his, that he found his mom and his father were mad, so his parents were now divorced. But his father did not know the secret Brian went to the secret. Brian went to visit his father and the plane crashed. He was not found by the search crew and had to survive four months in the wilderness. But then they came after he got an amazing survival kit on Torilla. Now it's time for the art section. This down here is the snap turtle that buried the eggs. This is one of the big snap turtles that might have hatched. And this is the old line. And it's amazing. We have the hatchet. Down here we have the bunny that he killed and ate. And then right here we have the, the model of the hatchet. On to Down here we have the Thanks to these, we have this weed and lake. And right here we have our birch tree forest. Brian's first time, and Brian's house. And to make sense. Thanks to me, then we have all of the logs here. We have the plane, the tail of the plane. And we also have the grass. Thank you. Thank you, girls. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on to Chubay. My, my project is a trailer for a hatchet. In this, in the part, um, the pilot is having a heart attack, and then, and then the, and then the plane crashes, and Brian has to swim out. Then there's the part where the berries are, and this part is when the mom's in the car, and the secret is figured out. And that's the scum. And, and at the end, it showed the plane tail, the part where it was triangular. And then at the very end, it showed Brian in front of the plane. I used I used Legos and a stop motion studio app to to make it. I I built miniature scenes and made my minifigures and for the lighting I used my bedroom light and a flashlight at the end. That's all. Thank you so much Jubei. Um, we're going to go ahead and go with our next presenters which include Emma's group. As you can see here, we have the plane, the bush plane that Brian crashed in after the pilot had a heart attack. Up here, up here we have the trees of the Can Canadian forest. And if you can't see right here, there's a full bird flying around. Right here is Brian's house that he created to have shelter while in the wilderness. Um, this is this is the bear that um that was eating the raspberries in the beginning of the book. Over here we have the wolf that was on the ledge. 
here we have his spear and his bow and his hatchet. And this is Brian. And here, 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 and here are the raspberry bushes. And right here and some other places are the choke cherry bushes. We have little splatters of raspberry juice. And inside the house, there's a It's hard to see the fire because it's uh, compact. Yeah, it's inside of the house. And in the lake are pieces of driftwood and leaves from past tornadoes. This was the fire that he was trying to light, but he couldn't. And that's the end of, of our, our GT, GT diorama. diorama hatchet. Thank you so much, guys. We're going to go ahead and move on with Xavier and his project. Hello, I'm Xavier Alvarado from 4D. I'm a GT student. Let the movie begin.
two complex steps, page four, part three, one last step, page five, part four, map of the Canadian wilderness, page six, glossary, page seven. So with part one, simple tips, I, as you can see, there are these three things in the top. So I mainly put every section under those three little like uh, rectangles. And then you can see I have multiple tips for each and then a picture. So part one, simple tips. How to find food. One, make sure you have tools such as bows and spears. Look on page four to see how to make them to capture food. Two, berries can be found in bushes. Eat berries such as raspberries. Three, avoid cut cherries at all costs. See photo. And then there's about cherries. So how to find water. That's all what a lake is. And then one, find the closest lake nearby you. Two, if there are no lakes in your area, you may need a survival kit. See page five. Three, bushes could have water in them. Cave, how to find shelter. This is what a cave looks like. One, find an empty cave. You know if it's empty, stay on the top for a day. Animals come, then go to the next. Two, if there are no empty caves near you, then build a shelter in an empty area. Empty as and not very many animals inhabit it. Three, make a fire for your shelter. It could be very helpful. For part two of the complex tips, I did the same thing, just with different tips and different pictures. So... Part two, complex tips. How to make tools. One, find any wood. Oops. One, find any wood. Should be easy. Two, carve the wood with the best thing you can, like sharp rocks or hatchets. Repeat to make different tools. Windbreakers and shoelaces could be helpful. How to catch animals. In lakes, you could find fish. Use the tools you have made to catch them. Two, if you have, if you catch a bird, remember to remember to clean it. Three, stay away from any animals you think could harm you. And then, how to keep food safe? If there, if you are in a cave, then look at the top. There could be a good place there. You can make a ladder to get up there. Two, if you are not in a cave or there is no good place at the top, have a secure door that no animals can get through with wood. So for part three, one last tip, I just put this paragraph right here. And then, so part three, one last tip. Make sure you have a survival kit. Things a survival kit could have. Food, water, sleeping bags, radios for you to call for help, weapons, and fire starters like lighters. If you have crashed, go retrieve any bags you might have brought. If you have brought a survival kit, then some tips are unnecessary. And then this is the map of the Canadian wilderness in case you get lost. So here it is. So part four, map of the Canadian wilderness right there. And then the glossary, which is, which I put numbers next to each of them uh, for each word that I put in the glossary. And then I put the same numbers here. So one, cap capture or can one capture can, catch or kidnap an animal or person two avoid stay away from a certain animal person or object three nearby for something for something to be near near you four empty to have no people or animals in it five car to make a certain object look like a different object six repeat to do again Seven, clean to take dirtiness or remove feathers and organs from birds. Eight, harm. To attack a animal, a person or animal. Nine, secure to keep safe. Ten, retrieve to grab and pick up a object. Eleven, unnecessary to not need to do or is optional. Twelve, wilderness, an area with many trees and wild animals. Oh wait, there's but all right and and that's my presentation
Thank you so much, Bryson. Thank you for taking, taking time to watch our fourth, fourth grade DT project. Thank you. Bye. Bye.